One additional type of functionality that Salesforce has to offer is Visual Remote Assistant. What this will allow is for agents to be able to actually share video uh, with actual customers. And they can have a two-way video, you can have a one-way video, uh, you can have screen sharing. Really allows for an agent to have a better understanding of what the actual issue is that the customer is having. So we'll go ahead and demo that functionality today and how it can be used effectively to better understand issues your customers are having and increase the response rate of your agents. So we have a chat that's just come in. We're gonna go ahead and initiate a chat with one of the customers. Go ahead and click on that link to start the chat. And we will type in a message. We'll wait for the customer to respond. So they are having an issue with their HVAC system. We will go ahead and create a case to track this. Let me let them know. So we can create a case directly from the chat window. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new case. Go ahead and find our contact, Amanda, subject, and go ahead and save and create that case. So our case number is 00001121. I'll go ahead and pull that up. So we can have that now in a different tab with our chat. I'll also let them know that we've created the case. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and initiate a VRA session. This will let me get a better understanding of the actual issue the customer is having. So on the case, we have information that has already pre-populated, like the contact name and the priority, which is defaulted in. Uh, this can always be changed as needed. On the left-hand side here is the visual remote assistant functionality. So what this will allow us to do is send an actual message via SMS or email that will allow for initiation of some form of communication. That can be two-way video. It can be done via SMS. That means it would go to someone's phone, which would allow for a quick use of that phone's camera. Um, email allows for similar functionality. You can use the webcams of the actual computer that the person is using or the laptop that they're using. However, the other functionality that we'll show you today is desktop sharing. This actually allows for someone who maybe isn't at home, um, but has you know taken pictures or screenshots of what their issue is to actually share those directly with the agent in real time, it allows the agent to get a little bit of better understanding of the issue and document the case properly. So we're going to go ahead and send the link out. We will send that invite out to the user here. Reset the session and send the invite. Okay. So there are two ways for the uh, customer to actually open this invite, one would be for them to go to this link and enter in this passcode, but the other is the email that I sent to them a moment ago. So I'm gonna let them know that they've received an email and they just need to click the link. Okay, so this will take a little bit of time. The user or the customer is going to receive that link. In the meantime, you know, the agent can go through and start documenting some things on the case. We don't know the issue uh, type yet, but we do know the equipment type is the air conditioner unit. And so we can go ahead and at least update that. Enter the case origin as well. In this case, it's web because we got it through a chat and we will wait for the session to begin. Okay, so we have now initiated a session with this customer. Um, there's some information that will be uh, on the screen in the VRA uh, functionality. We have the ability to have images sent to us. Uh, this can be done either through the video, you can take screenshots from the video, or uh, in this case with the desktop sharing, we actually can just look at screenshots that the, the customer has already taken. And then we can then save these images directly on the case itself to be referenced later, which is a, a fantastic piece of functionality. So click this button here. This is the scan or screenshot button. I'll go ahead and click that. We've now added this a uh, screenshot to our gallery. So we are now storing this image. It's basically associating it with the case. So we've now received a ton of additional information just because we've now seen the actual unit that's having an issue. Um, this is significantly better than kind of a, a typical chat situation where you're just kind of getting described what the issue is. So we can go in now and we can update the case. Go ahead and say this is, this is gonna be a mechanical issue. And uh, this is going to be related to a breakdown. And we now have the information updated in real time with information provided directly from the customer, which is uh, a fantastic piece of functionality that we uh, that we really want to emphasize. So we can go ahead and go back to the customer and end the session. 
uh, and then continue to follow up with the issue. While the customer is responding, I can kind of show you where this is going to be stored. So we'll go ahead and end the remote session here. As you can see, we have the image from the session that is stored here now, as you'll get a summary of the actual video. And you can also find this image in the visual history section of the case itself. So it will always be stored here to view later on. So if I go ahead and refresh the case. And open up the visual history. You will now see that that session from the VRA that we just completed is here. All the information, the person it went to, the length, all that is here, as well as the image itself um, will also be stored and can be quickly accessed by the agent or anyone else that is working in this case in the future. So you can see that the VRA functionality really allows for that extra touch point with the customer. It creates a more personal connection, allows for better information to be provided, and allows for your agents to actually respond more quickly because they have a better understanding upfront of what their issue might be.